think all of us would agree that intentionally taking the life of an innocent human being is wrong. Um, Stop. Yes. And I, with all due respect. And, and when we are talking, and when we are talking about abortion, this is. Excuse me, audience. And just to talk briefly about Proposal Three, um, which honestly, in my seven years on council, I can't think of an issue that is more important to me um, than, than this one. And, and Proposal Three on the November ballot is, is for as many of you, I'm sure, are aware, is the one relating with the topic of abortion. There's a lot of deeply impactful personal experiences people have had that drive that. Um, and I want to be sensitive of that, but I also want to be direct and, and just say that um, I think it's important for us to recognize that, well, first of all, I think all of us would agree that intentionally taking the life of an innocent human being is wrong. Whoa. How is it part of city council business to discuss <laughs> this? We went to audience communication. He has a right to make a comment as well. This is his free speech right. Okay. He, that's what he's addressing at this time. I'm not going to have this open forum at this point. This is not how we do business in the city. If you'd like to address this, we will have a study meeting that concludes, well, that starts after the conclusion of this meeting. I wanted to take uh, this opportunity that I have here to use this platform to, to share those things with voters because I think it's important for people to understand what it does. And even if we disagree about the extent to which abortion should be legal, I hope we can all agree that this particular proposal is too radical for Michigan, and I would urge my fellow citizens to join me in voting no, um, whether it's by absentee or in November. Would you vote to restrict abortion in any way in Minnesota? Please state clearly yes or no, then explain your answer in one minute. Okay, abortion, sorry. You can repeat it one more time if you want. If this comes up, my abortion, I will vote. We need more nuance in this discussion. So it's a word of frame. I would say yes, abortion policy. So I'm, I, just, I just said yes. Yeah, abortion policy should reflect what the majority of Minnesota. Yes or no, want. please. That's keeping it safe and legal. Uh, yes or no. Yes or no, please. Sorry. Oh, so please clearly state yes or no, and then explain your answer in one minute. Yeah. So. Okay. Did abortion policy should be safe, legal, and we should ensure that there's limits on post viability pr pr procedures. So I would vote yes, we should have limits on post-viability procedures, which reflects what the majority of Minnesotans wants, what the majority of doctors in America believe, and past presidents of Planned Parenthood. Thank you. I would not vote in any way to restrict abortion access in Minnesota. And in fact, like Representative Pryor said, I believe that we should codify our access to reproductive rights and abortion access in the Minnesota State Constitution. We are an island of reproductive access, rights access in the Midwest now. Every year that I've been in the legislature, my GOP colleagues have introduced anti-choice legislation, banning abortion at heartbeat, banning abortion flat out. It's, it's unbelievable. 